Hi folks, so we are back for more standard algorithm um, using standard algorithm for subtraction. You'll need your lesson 19 homework, you will need a, your deck of cards, and your flashcards, which are actually should be all bundled up together now, um, but if you haven't finished numbering the back sides of your cards, go ahead and do that and then combine them all. All right, so let's talk about using the standard algorithm for subtraction. Now this time, we have to do a little more unbundling. So before I subtract, I need to see if any tens or hundreds need to be unbundled. There are not enough ones to subtract, so I can unbundle one ten to make ten ones. But there are zero tens. So, I can unbundle 100 to make 10 tens, then there are 710 tens. Okay, so I'm going to unbundle 100 and make 10 tens. So I have 700s and 10 tens. I still am not ready to subtract because I have to unbundle one ten to make ten ones. So I'm going to unbundle one ten to make ten ones. So now there are nine tens and ten ones. After unbundling, I see I have seven hundreds, nine tens, and ten ones. Now I'm ready to subtract. Since I've prepared my numbers all at once, I can choose to subtract left to right or right to left. But I'm going to do right to left. So ten minus six is four. Nine minus two is seven. Seven minus one is Six. My answer is 674. All right, let's try a word problem. Kenny is driving from Los Angeles to San Diego. The total distance is about 175 kilometers. 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 He has 86 kilometers left to drive. How many kilometers has he driven so far? Okay, so before I subtract, on this, I can first figure out what I need to subtract, right? So I can model this problem with a tape diagram to figure out what I need to solve. So I'm going to start with, he has 175 kilometers to drive to get from San Diego or from Los Angeles to San Diego. I know that he has 86 kilometers left, 86 kilometers left. So that means I don't know how far he has already driven. So since I can't easily solve this problem using mental math, I can use the standard algorithm for subtraction. So I can rewrite the problem vertically. So I'm going to write 175 minus 86. So before I subtract, I need to see if any unbundling needs to be done. I can see that there are not enough tens or ones. So I can bun unbundle 100 to make 10 tens. So I'm going to unbundle this to make 10 tens. So after unbundling, I'm going to have 0 hundreds and 17 tens. I can unbundle 1 10 to make 10 ones. So that's going to give me 16 tens and 15 ones. I'm ready to subtract. 
The answer is going to be 15 minus 6 is 9. 16 minus 8 is 8. All right, there you have it. So I want you to do A, D, and E. And then I want you to do 3. So A, E, A, E, A, D, and E, and number 3. Then do three problems using your cards to create those problems. Remember you just, um, I, didn't, I didn't shuffle these very good. Um, you just create those by flipping your cards over. Put the largest number on the top, so 446 minus 355, and then go through that process with the standard algorithm to unbundle if you need to so that you can subtract your numbers. All right, and then finally, do some flashcards. Practice your flashcards. If you are on your own and you don't have somebody to do your flashcards with you, then just set your flashcards down and go eight times one is eight. Flip it over. The answer should be on the back side. Eight times two is 16. Flip it over. So you're just checking and you're just going through those cards as many as you can. You're practicing, practicing, practicing because remember, third graders, they know their multiplication facts when they are done with third grade. Okay, folks, enjoy. Um, make sure you make a quick video to tell me what you learned and put that worksheet in your math game bag to return to school for that assignment to be marked complete. All right, good luck. I'll see you soon.